Welcome to Maritime Platform. Today, uh, we are talking to the founder of Maritime Platform, Vijay Raghavan. Vijay and I have been batchmates, and I will take this opportunity to try and understand from Vijay what Maritime Platform is all about. Welcome, Vijay. Thank you so much, Vala. Uh, it's uh, nice having you, and thank you so much for doing this with me. Uh, thank you, Vijay. I was just, you've been speaking about Maritime Platform for a while. Uh, so, if you can talk me through the journey on how you came upon Maritime Platform and what you <coughs> hope to achieve with Maritime Platform. See, basically, you know, this all started in the first wave of COVID. Uh, you know, I've always been thinking of uh, how to give back something to the maritime industry which has given us so much, you know, you, me and everybody in the uh, shipping fraternity work sailed and come ashore, you know. Uh, the, the industry has given us so much, but uh, we have many people slipping out, going out to sea and, you know, leaving family away, but they don't realize how much uh, this uh, industry has given us. So, it's, it's uh, I thought I should be doing something where, you know, we could uh, do something for the fraternity who are the youngsters who are coming in, who are there in the office, uh, uh, you know, the main uh, audience what we are looking at is basically the source staff in the maritime industry who are there in the office who are trying to get knowledge on what they are doing you know they have not seen a ship they don't know what seafarers are they just know the ranks they know the salaries they just uh, uh, work like that you know they don't know what is the background uh, what is happening at sea actually so this is this this is a platform where we could give uh, knowledge and information to them and seafarers also, you know, seafarers also, uh, they don't have the uh, time and uh, some don't have the inclination to take a lot of time to dig into what is actually happening in the office, what is the background, how, how things work. So we are trying to bridge and give information and knowledge to all the people. And this is a world platform, you know, the crewing is the same worldwide, only the nationalities change, but the processes, the documentation, the licenses, everything is the same. So this is more of a world, worldwide platform uh, where uh, we try to give knowledge and information. So this all started in the coming back. Uh, this all started in the first wave of COVID where uh, we were all sitting at home and working from home. Uh, so I was uh, looking at a. Uh, I was thinking of starting a YouTube channel and uh, I went to YouTube and uh, tried to understand where I can start and how I can start. That time I was I was looking at videos, my maritime videos. You know so what happens is what YouTube does is it shows you one or two uh, maritime videos. Then as per your interest, what you have been viewing, you know, it, it moves you away from the maritime industry into into other videos. You know, you have been seeing some cooking videos, it takes you there. You have been seeing some you know sports, it takes you there. So I was thinking, why is it happening? No, it should not be like you are you are diverting. You are come you are come here to see the maritime videos. Why it should take you to some other uh, system? You know. So then I thought, then I thought I should develop a, a, a you know platform with for videos where uh, you know we should have uh, only videos of the maritime industry so that when you come here you are focused and you are coming here for knowledge and information so you get it. You know. Uh, and and uh, so that's that's why that's how it uh, came about. And also then after that, uh, once I started this uh, video platform, then I saw there are a lot of queries. I, I go through the Facebook posts, LinkedIn posts. So there are a lot of queries people have uh, in you know what is how 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 to do this in DG shipping, how to how how is the company review. So there are a lot of questions in people's mind, and they just put it in Facebook or LinkedIn. Where you know there are people of group of people to reply and then it is lost. Uh, you know Facebook post if you see a LinkedIn post, if you try to look for a post after three days, four days, it is lost. You know you cannot get the post back. So there should be something where for the maritime industry it's, it's focused and you can get it whenever you want. You want to search it after the same answer. I I have seen this question I asked three six months back. I want to go back to the question. You will be able to go back to that question. So that's 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 the starting of seafarersclan.com, which is similar to a question and answer specifically for the maritime industry. You can you can uh, say it's a like of you know Quora or something only for the maritime industry. And also, I have been seeing your posts in LinkedIn where you know you talk about a lot of uh, uh, specific stuff. You know, 
and again it's it's a common platform again you get lost uh, uh, you know people don't get to see so many uh, blogs so that's that's the starting of cfer as blog where uh, you know uh, we can put in blogs i have written a lot of blogs in that's that too in the covid time i started writing uh, blogs also so we have put around 40 50 blogs there uh, all of the maritime industry so this is how you know step by step uh, uh, actually uh, covid has given raised to the uh, you know it gave me some time to think a little deeper and then that that's how everything step by step came about uh thank you vijay i think there is always a silver lining in every dark cloud so i think covid has given you this opportunity you spoke of uh, uh primarily this being a repository of information where uh, which is focused on maritime sort of matters and it remains focused so people the information doesn't get lost it remains there people can come back and see this and you also spoke about uh, uh focusing on an audience of shore staff who been ashore who been dealing with seafarers but who have not really gone to see who don't who don't appreciate uh, you know what happens out at sea as much as maybe a seafarer does so you are also focusing on them uh, and to improve or increase their awareness of what's happening uh, out at sea uh, or what uh, what maritime what what the industry is about and what a career at sea is like and what seafarers go through and on the other hand you're also looking at seafarers and you know giving them information and trying to answer their questions that otherwise gets lost in linkedin and facebook posts so uh, if i if i were to ask you the specifics how exactly are you going to do this you know what what do you have uh, in on maritime uh, platform uh, to achieve this basically uh, we have uh, as i was mentioning we have uh, four different areas the first one is the uh, maritime platform itself which is a video sharing platform you know it is not only the admin or us we can post videos anybody like uh, wants to share their information they can simply register like youtube and then they can start posting their videos because uh, you know uh, they always say you know the a picture talks a 1000 words so uh, the video maybe talks a lakh words you know so the best way of portraying any information or knowledge is by a video even a 5 minutes video 10 minutes video can uh, you know give you a lot of information compared to uh, you know maybe a 1000 words or 2000 word blog basically people should be aware that there is a platform like this and they should once once they come here in the platform then they will see the wealth of knowledge which is possible and it, it is it is not only us you know the, the, the industry is so huge so we have kept all the platforms open you know like uh, uh, the first uh, what i'm talking about the american platform that people can come and upload their videos uh, you know for them to share their knowledge with the world it is not only our knowledge the knowledge is not limited to us you know we don't know anything about maritime industry compared to the stalwarts that are there so that that is one uh, where we can share uh, the information and the knowledge second one what i'm talking about of the uh, seafarersclan.com uh, the word is also the clan i have made it you know so that uh, it's it's a group you know it's a small group where people can come together and share their views there are angsters who have lot of queries they have rating they, they have lot of queries about the industry uh, how to become a officer from a rating there, there are very very common questions where uh, these seafarers want to know more about uh, the industry and the how it operates etc you know? so there can be the uh, simple questions where they can ask and uh, the industry people can come and uh, reply to it it is not only us again you know it is again bringing the industry together similarly blog uh again it it's, it's a open platform where they can approach us and we can put their blogs also in the uh, platform so it's, it's it's basically bringing together the industry to share and uh, you know uh, the information uh, collecting at one place where there are so many uh, people who know a lot of things so all the information is lost and and uh, people go away there are most of the people who are not there in the social media so there's a lot of information which is lost which, which is very very valuable so we are just trying to bring everybody together and uh, compile data in one place so that you know it can be a reference for the future generations to come 
From what you said, I'm wondering, is there also a sort of networking involved in this? Are you like looking at connecting everybody uh, who has a stake in the maritime industry? You're trying to bring them together so that they can network where they share their knowledge, where they share their blocks, or is it going to be? Uh, I mean, what? I think you understand what I'm asking. I mean, is it is it is it is it a networking sort of a site, or is it going to be just you know just put up videos for somebody else to see, or is there going to be some interaction also? Yeah, we can have interactions as well. You know, first the knowledge is shared, and uh, like like you know, you have any social media, you see, you have a post, you, you tell the world something, and then they ask, they have their own comments. You know, I can put my comments. I agree with you, or I don't agree with you, or something like that. You know, so it's it's basically it, it is it is it is more than networking. You know, networking is just I know you, you know me. I have thousands of friends in Facebook. I have uh, thousands of friends in LinkedIn. It is it is. More than networking is what we are looking at. We are we are actually looking at some constructive knowledge sharing uh, between the industry, uh, you know, participants uh, who are stakeholders of the industry. Meaningful networking, constructive true, networking. True, true. Okay. So, but then uh, Vijay, there are already so many uh, blogs, so many uh, sites, and you know, th- there are just too many of them already, right? How is maritime platform going to make itself uh, unique uh, what's going to be your what's special about maritime platform see that's that's exactly uh, there is overload of information uh, you know presently if you see there, there are so many sites and it, the, the main thing is it's all scattered okay the information is there it is not that it is not there you now there are so many people doing so many things and it's all scattered so there is no uh, collection where somewhere uh, okay uh, you can see you know uh, if you if you go for uh, for example gold shopping or you want to do some kind of a shopping you know what what you do you go to a place where there are so many gold shops and the and the shops are designed in that way if you want a stationery you go to a stationery place you see the whole row is only stationery one might think yeah there is not a good logic, no. If if you want to, if there are already four shops, stationery shop. Why you want to open a fifth stationery shop in that area? You should open it somewhere else so that people go there, and you are the only person who is giving you, uh, giving them the business, right? So you are increase the business increases, but it works the other way around. You the the people come go to a place where more information is available at one place. Like if you have five stationery shops, you go to first station shop. You know, yeah, one of the first station shop will have what I want. If the first shop doesn't have, the second shop doesn't have, the third shop will have what I want. You know, so that's that's the idea. You know, you now you have a blog site separately. YouTube, you don't have anything. YouTube is totally, you know, it is there is only one YouTube where you have the whole world. Okay, so there is no there is no second video sharing. A website for specifically for the maritime industry, but in case of uh, again like Cora, you know, Cora is there, but there is nothing specific for the maritime industry where people can come and ask questions other than Facebook and LinkedIn. Okay, there is only one uh, area where it is blogging, where we have a lot of blogging sites where people. The, and again, it's it's not a social blogging site; it's it's only the administrator blog. You know, so. So uh, what we are doing is bringing everything together in a single place where the video sharing and the uh, question is one of a kind, and the blogging side also we have included to have a social blogging so that you know everybody comes and shares their views and blogs in the platform. So that's that's how it makes it uh, unique and different from what we are already having in the maritime industry with social media uh, to share the information. And Hmm. I'm also curious because uh, you know when people share videos on YouTube or when they write blogs, not everyone, but a uh, large proportion or large number of people, when they share, they expect uh, a certain reach. They want a lot of likes. They want a lot of views, so, which is why they possibly go on LinkedIn or on you know, Facebook or YouTube, right? So even even uh, so, why? Or how are you going to make it different? Because if somebody wants to post a YouTube I mean, a video on maritime platform, uh, would that person not prefer to do it on YouTube? Because you know, 
of this the chance of more people liking it and more people viewing it and that's something that gives people kicks so they want that so how do you sort of differentiate that from what you're offering see if you see uh, the youtube or any blogging site you go there and you see the commenting you see who is liking it who you hmm. you see who is commenting on it it will be mostly very geographically uh, specific like i am doing in okay. india you have lot of people who will be indians who will because youtube works that way they all the social media works that way okay they feel ki you know what you are sharing will be more likely uh, looked at by the geographically closer areas and as i told in the beginning this is a worldwide industry uh, you know there is no there is no country boundaries in merchant maritime industry or the merchant okay so if they have to reach to other nationality queen is done exactly the same way in you go to russia you go to ukraine you go to indonesia you go to japan queen is the same all the seafarer are the same the certification is the same the safety on board is the same the uh, sms system is the same the equipments on board are the same so there is there is not a difference so it's it's it's, it's not geographically specific but uh, but uh, it's, it's a worldwide industry so you want to have a world exposure when you come to the mar- mm. maritime platform you know so that's that's makes it more uh, unique than other uh, social media platforms that you, you can come and blog and share it okay so i think uh, uh, i have most of the answers to questions i had so your primarily maritime platform is going to be a repository of knowledge and information that's it's going to remain you know and you have meaningful networking like you sort of mentioned and uh, you're not going to be bound geographically you, you it's it's going to be something that people across uh, who have a stake in the maritime industry or seafarer or maybe someone working in the office or maybe you are the family members i should think so you network meaningfully and in across the world without geographical boundaries and people come here to have their questions answered people come here to share their knowledge and people come here to uh, get new knowledge right and and whatever history they had whatever question they had earlier it doesn't get lost it, it remains uh, in 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 maritime platform so yeah i think as i conclude uh, uh, vijay maybe you also need to tell people how to get here and what are the different uh, uh, you know you have maritime platform you also mentioned other blogging sites so w- what all do you have uh, you know so that uh, people can actually come and make use of what uh, the service that you're providing them yeah i just briefly mention i'll put everything in the comments also all the uh, links to the uh, websites where you can go and uh, share your uh, thoughts and blogging or you know questions you can ask or we can share the video uh, i'll just briefly tell here first is the maritime platform.com uh, which is the base uh, website you know you go there and you will get the links to everything else also uh, maritime platform is the video sharing platform where you can come register yourself you are they will, they, they will ask uh, to verify your email address once your email address is verified then you can start uploading your videos okay you can also go there and see lot of videos already posted so uh, you can see those videos uh, for what is already present you know? we have this divided into various categories education you know uh, we have uh, vlogs uh, it, it is not only it, it's it's not uh, they have a saying right uh, all work and no play makes uh, little john uh, you know something I, i'm not very sure i i, I don't know that boy thing. ah yeah <laughs> so we have that also we have vlogs also we you have you know some entertainment videos they want to put that also can be shared you know so anything related to uh, maritime industry is what we are looking at so that's that's about the maritime platform there is one more uh, the, the site about the, the question and answer is called seafarers clan.com s e a f a r e r s c l a n.com so seafarers clan.com uh, this you have you can you can go and you don't need to even register or log in you just directly can post questions and only thing is uh, for reply we have uh, you need to register uh, and you can uh, uh, give your replies to those questions who, which has been asked there also we have lot of categories in what category you want to post a question you know so that if anybody wants to directly go on after 3 months 4 months after 1 year somebody has some questions in that category they can just go and view 
you watch this question being asked uh, earlier also so they can go there and the third one is the uh, seafarersblog.com it is s e a f a r e r s b l o g.com seafarersblog.com again you can go there a lot of blogs already posted and uh, there is a contact button there if you can reach out to us uh, and you want you are interested in posting your blog we'll be more than happy only thing is uh, we uh, we would appreciate if it is more of maritime uh, related you know uh, so uh, we don't want any other and and the maritime there is no restriction on crewing or hscq or technical it can be anything we are we are looking at the broad picture of maritime okay and fourth is the shipshowjob.com/careers so this is this is the website uh, where uh, we have uh, jobs at show we are presently only uh, catering to indian clients where you know this also uh, they they just post the requirement and we just advertise it that we we just uh, post it here and they could apply directly through the website so that that's what we are doing this again reaching out to people helping out people getting a show job we are not dealing with any seafarer recruitment i want to very clearly mention that there, there are a lot of websites already happening and lot of lot of social sites already happening so we 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 are not doing any seafarer recruiting and we are we will not be going into it also yeah so these are the uh, four uh, uh, you know areas where we are looking to uh, share the knowledge and uh, into information and i will put everything in the comments also for uh, people to reach us uh, thank you so much vijay and uh, uh, it would be wonderful to i think to be associated with what you're doing i think it's noble and i hope uh, it uh, achieves uh, i mean you achieve what you uh, set out to do so uh, thank you so much vijay for your time and i hope uh, you know uh, people watching this video uh, you know look up the links and uh, make uh, use of them and start connecting thank you thank you so much uh, bala and uh, thank you so much for doing this with me and for the viewers uh, I, i sincerely hope uh, uh, you get uh, the information and knowledge what you are actually looking at coming to the maritime platform on the associated website Thank you so much. Take care. Have a nice day and follow CAP. There is COVID uh, appropriate behavior, which is very very important during these times. Take care. Be safe. Have a nice day. Bye.